Welcome back to another episode of Noah Spends Money So You Don't Have To, and thank God you didn't because I pre-ordered this back in April. I was super excited for this to be a cheaper alternative to the Apple Magic Keyboard. I even paid for expedited shipping, although that didn't do much. It took two months to arrive due to shipping delays, and after I finally, you know, excitedly unboxed it and paired it to my iPad, I'm not gonna lie, I was very much let down. And I sort of let out a... Yikes, hence the title. So without wasting any more time, let's get into things here. But before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes it, and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, I'd appreciate it if you click the bell icon and enable all notifications as it does help the channel out a lot. Okay, right off the bat, there are of course things you can enjoy about this case, like this sort of faux leather backing that attaches magnetically. I think that's a nice touch. Then, you know, the bottom part is made out of aluminum. It feels premium and heavy. And ultimately this, you know, experience or this keyboard case feels more like a MacBook Air or Pro than even the Magic Keyboard itself, which comes directly from Apple. And I really enjoy the hinge here, which goes all the way back like a Lenovo Yoga book here. But everything starts to go downhill with the keyboard. And uh, you may have thought I would initially talk about the trackpad, but oh no, we're saving that bit for last year. The keyboard is nicely spaced. I mean, I'll do a little typing here. Like you can use it. It's fine, but it doesn't feel expensive. It doesn't feel like you paid $230 for it. Um, this plastic material feels like something you'd get off Amazon. And I immediately noticed that and I did not like it. Although there is a function row of keys, that was a nice touch. This is something that I missed or I'm missing in my magic keyboard. But at the same time, like I just can't get over the fact about how cheap this keyboard feels. It's like the dry sort of plastic. I don't know, like premium plastic, your finger kind of slides across it. This is kind of like low grade sandpaper. I don't know, not a big fan of it here. I am gonna give bridge points though. They did include a USB type C input for charging with this keyboard case. Part of me wishes that it was a bit more centered, you know, like right above or below the port on the iPad Pro, but that doesn't really matter to me. I just enjoy the fact that I can charge my iPad Pro and my keyboard case with the same cable. And while we have this in its closed state, it's very well color matched. As you can see here, the keyboard part is a little bit thicker, I think, than the iPad Pro, but not by much. It's a handsome looking device. I'm just upset that it is subpar in another way. And the subpar part, or the most subpar part about this case is indeed the trackpad. And I was super excited, you know, like I tried to block out people's reviews and what people were saying just for the sake of my own objectivity. And uh, when I immediately paired this, it was the first thing I noticed. And yeah, it, it sucks, plain and simple. And I even updated the firmware with the Bridge Connect app just to make sure I wasn't making things up or judging it harshly before an update. And uh, yeah, even after, it still sucks. It may have gotten worse, honestly. Um, First up, uh, the actual trackpad itself doesn't feel bad. It's made out of glass, it feels premium. You know, the point and click aspect works perfectly and the actual click is pretty tactile, although a bit too deep in my opinion, but that's like a very small nitpick. But when it comes to actually using gestures, just don't even think about it. Like scrolling left and right on the home screen is a super laggy experience. I'm sure it's the same thing for scrolling on web pages or in like Safari. Yeah, like what is this? Like it's like super delayed, it's super choppy, not a fun experience. Experience. Yes, of course you can use the arrow keys, but that defeats the whole purpose of having a trackpad Like you want to have the gestures and speaking of gestures You can't you can't use any of them like I can't like go into the you know Multitasking switch or anything. I can't close the app with like, you know multi-touch And I just want to make a correction or rather clarification You can turn on assistive touch and like configure your own gestures apparently here But I've read in some reviews like written ones online that people got annoyed at that and it's finicky and it's not great and uh, once again for $229, you would expect the native gestures to work. So I'm not even interested in doing that. I wouldn't even keep the case if you could do that because once again, it's just not the same as the you know native really fluid gestures that you get with the Magic Keyboard and the Logitech Combo Touch, for example. But of course you do have the function keys, but then again, that defeats the purpose of having a trackpad here. And honestly, there isn't much more to say here. Once again, I love the concept of this case. It looks fabulous on the website here. I like the aluminum. I like the way it operates and tilts and everything. But once again, when it comes to the main event, which is, you know, the keyboard and the trackpad, it just disappoints, especially in regard to the trackpad. So if you were thinking about buying this as a cheaper alternative to the Magic Keyboard, don't. Um, I would honestly buy an $80 keyboard that can function pretty much in the same exact way without the aluminum build 
off of Amazon for cheaper. Uh, your wallet will be happier with that and you'll probably be just as happy with it as well compared to this. This is unfortunately not on par at all to Apple's offering and I would totally spend the extra money to get that because even with the Magic Keyboard's errors or its weirdness, it's still you know, I would say five, you know, to 10 times better than this. Uh, I was expecting more from Bridge and I'm not trying to burn them or say like they're a horrible company. I think they're capable of better things. And uh, if anybody on the Bridge team is hearing this, um, just, you know, learn from this. I don't know, like hopefully there might be an update sometime soon, but it doesn't seem like that. It seems like this product is pretty much set in place to just not be as good as the Magic Keyboard. It's not an alternative. It's just a totally different case in my humble opinion and not worth $230 of your hard-earned money. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions once again, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.